Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Goodman. I'm the museum educator at Drake Well Museum and Park in Titusville, Pennsylvania, birthplace of the modern petroleum industry. And today I am here to uh, do an activity with you called What Is It? And today's object is an object that we have in our collection in the education department. The education has a collection of artifacts known as for use artifacts and they are objects that we allow people to touch and look at um, so that they can learn about life and the oil industry in the early uh, 19th and 20th century and also the 21st century here in northwestern Pennsylvania. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a few details about the object and then I'm going to show you three ways to use that object and you have to figure out which way is the correct way to use this object to figure out what the object is. So first let's do a little description of the object. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. And this one is solid wood. Don't know what kind of wood, but it's made of wood. And it's narrow here at the top and wider here at the bottom. And it does sit or stand on its own if you would want it to. And it's maybe mm, several inches high or almost as big as my hand. Okay, so now that you have a little description of the object, let's figure out what this object is. As I said, I'll show you three ways to use this object and then you have to figure out what is the correct way to use it. So let's do our first guess. My first guess, and I think everybody else might think this too, and maybe it is the correct one. We'll find out. I think it is part of what's called a mortar and pestle. A mortar and pestle is a way to grind herbs. So. I have a bowl here and we're going to pretend that there's some herbs in here from the garden and you would use this to grind the herbs in your mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestles come in all different shapes and sizes and I happen to have a small one here that is also made of wood and that kind of looks like a mortar and pestle doesn't it? So you would grind the herbs up in it. That is guess number one a mortar and pestle. Let's see. Guess number two for this object, and I think this might be the correct one, is that this is part of a game piece. That this is maybe part of bowling for tabletop bowling. That you would place these, several of these on a table and you would roll a ball and just like the bowling that we have today, you would try to knock over the pins. Or maybe it's a piece from a chess game, the game of chess. Maybe it's a pawn in the, on the chess board. That's a guess. So guess number two is that it's part of a game. Guess number three, well, hmm, I know you all have had this problem. These are my favorite pair of socks. But unfortunately, something happened to my favorite pair of socks. I went to put them on this morning and guess what? I got a hole in my socks. Well, in the modern day, we simply throw this out, but I love these socks. I want to save them. And guess what? I love to sew. So got my needle and thread and I'm gonna sew the hole in my sock. But it's really difficult to work on it. So I think if I stick this thing inside my sock, hmm, oh, it's hard to get this in here. Let's see, if I stick this in my sock, Now, I'll sew my sock shut. That would work. So, guess number three is that it is for sewing socks. 
which way do you think is the correct way to use this object? Is it a mortar and pestle, like grinding herbs? Is it a game piece? Or is it for sewing socks? Hmm, let's think about this for a little bit. I'll give you a minute to think. Has it been a minute? It's been a minute. So what is your guess? Well, if you guessed that it is for sewing socks, you are correct. This is what we call a sock darner. It's for darning socks or repairing those holes in your socks. So you would use, women would use this as a way to help hold the sock and to create a nice smooth surface for them to be able to sew the holes in their socks. Today, when we get a hole in our sock, we usually throw our socks away. But in the 1800s, they never threw very much away. They would use and reuse items. Kind of like we do today with reduce, reuse, recycle. They would sew their socks until they couldn't be sewn anymore to help save their socks. I hope you enjoyed today's What Is It? Join me again for another What Is It? Thank you so much. See you soon at Drakewell Museum and Park. Bye-bye.